Brought to you by Covered you California. Die, it does not mean that you lose to cancer. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. That emotional speech from ESPN anchor Stuart Scott at the ESPY Awards ceremony last year. Scott died over the weekend after a lengthy battle with a rare cancer. And joining me now to talk all about it is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for being here. It's good to be here. We've all heard of appendicitis and appendectomies, but cancer of the appendix, which is what Scott had, isn't that common, or at least we don't talk about it. What is it exactly? Well, it is very rare, and it occurs in less than a thousand people. And unfortunately, Scott had the rarest form of appendiceal cancer, which is an adenocarcinoma. So it was the most aggressive time. What ends up happening is the symptoms can be very varied, and it can be bloating, abdominal pain, nausea, and you can sometimes think it's food poisoning, and that's what points out to something wrong with the appendix. So what he did is he actually went in in 2007 with appendicitis, and they did an emergency appendectomy, took out the appendix, and sewed him up, everything was cool. But when they sent it to the laboratory, the pathologist found out that he had a cancer in the appendix. They had to take him back, remove part of the colon, start him on chemotherapy. He did really well, and then the cancer came back about four years later, another bout of chemotherapy. He was so brave. He had 56 different courses of chemotherapy, but finally, after eight years, it did take him. Well, Dr. G, one of the things with these intestinal cancers, and you really kind of addressed this just moments ago, is they're so insidious. So what is a person to do if the symptoms are so erratic and mask themselves as other simple ailments? Is there any prevention that can even be applied here? You know, unfortunately, even though we say almost every Tuesday that good diet, exercise is going to help prevent forming uh, cancer, no smoking, no drinking. Still, this form of cancer that he had, which was very, very rare, there is no way to predict that there's no predisposition. It doesn't run in families, it just happened. Um, it happened to a wonderful person, he fought it really bravely. Um, the, he did live for eight years with the cancer, but it finally took him in the end. So the, the only thing that I can say is, you know, we have to live a healthy lifestyle. Just like Scott said, we have to live every day to our fullest and try to make as much of an impact on our fellow humans that we can. But if you're having problems with bloating, if you're having, you know, a, a lot of stomach pain, if there are things that are wrong, you have to talk with your doctor. You have to check it out, at least to make sure it's okay. Well, let me address this because a lot of people see the appendix as something that's sort of a throwaway, mainly because it can be removed. So one would think that it, when it became cancerous, that it would be one of the more curable forms of the, the disease, but obviously that's not the case. Not in his case. Most of the time, again, only a thousand cases a year, most of the time it's when you take the appendix out, the patient is cured. But unfortunately, he had a very aggressive type that spread to the colon where the appendix actually sits. And even though they removed that, it had already spread to the lymph nodes. And so it was very, very difficult. It's not usual, it's very rare. And the only thing we can say, he fought an incredible battle um, and lived for nine years. And Dr. G, real quickly, so it's not a death sentence. If someone is diagnosed with it, cancer of the appendix, there is treatment and, and what's the overall prognosis? Well, with proper uh, treatment, catching it early, the prognosis is actually pretty good. The most common form is called a carcinoid type of tumor, which is very treatable. But uh, unfortunately, the type that he had, even though we had the best treatment possible, 56 courses of chemotherapy, it was aggressive enough and it finally did take him. So it's, if you have problems going on, if you can't explain why you're having bloating, stomach ache, things of this sort, see your, see your doctor. It probably is not going to be appendiceal cancer, right. but see your doctor. All right, Dr. G, as always, good advice every Tuesday right here on Fox 5 News at 6. Thank you.